Hey, good morning. I'm going to make a quick video here um, to show some people how to replace their cord cap on a club car charger. Most of them, the 48 volt ones, have this molded rubber end with the three pins. This one, the, as you can see, the pin, the negative one melted. So it need to be replaced. You cannot cut into this and replace it. So you need to buy an aftermarket uh, cord cap to put on here or uh, replace the whole entire cord with another charger. So, okay, this is the charger. This happens to be a power drive three. So I have cut this off. And how I knew it was bad, the charger wasn't working. So I started bringing parts out, the fuse, the meter. Then I started going each wire. I would unplug it. For instance, the green one, I'd unplug it from the relay board. And I would put my continuity test on one end of the green wire and the other end on this pin. And I got continuity on the green one and the positive, which is the, the white wire, but nothing on the negative. And you can see that it's melted. I cut this all out so you could see for the video. Now, this is what the aftermarket looks like the cord cap i kind of opened it for you it's hard plastic which is nice because it, it goes in real nice and it seats so there's three screws that hold it in you just back them out it's kind of nice because the nuts are embedded in the plastic the same shape so you only need a screwdriver but you take those three out then this thing opens up Turn it over, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Those pins and this pin. So, so not to confuse yourself, make sure you go one at a time. This one is the ground or the green. So what I'm going to do is cut the other, cut and strip this. Okay, this is where I cut the other one off. So I'm going to strip some back to expose the three wires. I'm going to strip them. Then I'm going to take the green wire and put it in here. And then I'm put the black and white in here. Remember the black is the negative and the white is the positive. Okay. And let me see if these are marked. They are marked on the plastic. See? Negative and positive. So when you turn this over this one is a negative this is the black wire so let me uh hook these three wires up and uh come right back at you okay i wanted to show you something um i used to be an electrician and eventually an electrical contractor so i used to do a lot of stripping of wires and cords so uh i'm going to show you a little thing that i do remember we're going to we need to strip this back a little bit so Instead of taking a knife and sawing and doing this, if you take and bend your cord, bend it so it's under stress, and then take your knife and where it's bent like this, just rake it across there, not very deep, but I don't know if you can see this. I need a new blade, but can you see what's happening? It's, it's cut that through. Then you turn this around to get another side of that same area. And you bring your knife in once or twice like that. Then, lastly, I'm going to bend it on the other side. Again, you're just trying to go through the rubber then when you get close enough you just pull it off okay so I just wanted to show you that I'm going to cut all this crap off and then uh, we will strip these strip the end of these wires and then this is what it looks like 
the end of these little pins, this is what the pin looked like, there's a screw. Okay, there's a hole in there for the wire. So you back this out with a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a hole. Once you get your wire stripped, like I've stripped these, then you take and you twist the strands real tight. So when you back this screw, don't take it all the way out, just so you back it out enough so you can see the hole 100% open. Then slide this over there and tighten it up. So I did the green wire, you can see. So being flexible wire, you put it in, then you bend it over. So right now I would take a screwdriver and loosen this. See if I can do this. Okay, so I got this backed out 100%. Um, make sure I've got, try the black one, okay? All these pins are the same, so the pins don't matter. You just got to get them in, back in the right slot in the holder. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. So I've got that all the way in, even sticking out the other end. So now I'm going to tighten, I'm going to hold this and tighten it as much as I can with a screwdriver. Then I'm going to take, in this case, my needle nose and hold this and tighten it the rest of the way. And once I get all three of them, there's two, once we get all three of them, we're going to lay them in here where they go. Now, one other thing I will tell you, when you open this up and these prongs are in here and you try, it won't come out, don't pry on it where you break the plastic. Just take a screwdriver, lift it from the back, and it'll come out. Okay, I've got all three wires inside the pins. Now I need to lay this I, can take this down. I need to lay this inside the proper channels. Now, remember, when you're doing this, the one, the, the side with one slot in it is the ground wire. So do that last. You want to get the white and the black in the right uh, channels here first. So turn this over and you can see they're marked negative and positive. So, let's start with the negative. This is the negative marking. Negative, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to keep my finger on this side. That's the black wire. So we want to take the black wire now and sit it down in that channel like that. And we want to take the white wire and sit that down in its channel. Let me get this out of the way. See if you can see this. So I have both of them laying in there where they belong. Right? Then. Okay, let me get this screw out of the way. I took this apart because I want the black and white one on each side of this screw right here. So, let me put it back where I had it. Black wires in. White wires in. They're on each side of the screw. I don't know if you can see. Now I'm going to take the green wire, put that in. I'm going to put that in its proper channel. And once I get it in the channel, which there it is, I'm, I'm lining up the screw in the channel that goes in so I can push this down. See, so I pushed it down. Now I'm gonna lay, make sure the cord's laid in this channel. I'm gonna hold on to this and put these nuts and screws back in. I'm gonna start with this main one because the screw's already in there. So, I don't know if you can see that closing down. And use hand tools, don't use an electric drill for this, okay? There. 
So that one's down. Now I can just drop the nuts in the channel, get them in there in the proper uh, sequence. Okay, see, it just lays right in there. Put my finger on it, put the screw in there, get it started. It's nice having that little channels the same there. Let me get this last nut there. We are almost done. So it's a very easy thing to do. Just make sure nothing's plugged in. Forgot to tell you that. So you can see how tight this closes up. I'm going to shut the camera off and finish so I can hold up the one hand and do the other. But uh, that, when I get done, that's it. It's hard plastic. You're done. Okay? Okay, I had to go back in on this video because there was something I did not show you on film. When you're stripping your wire, the rubber cord, to get to these, you got to strip it long enough to go all the way back to here. I only stripped it about this far here, maybe two inches. But when you put this, see how this needs to fit tight at this end? Right inside here, there's a little cradle. And that cradle, if you don't take this outside covering off the rubber, this cradle keeps this from mating tightly like that. Um, you should have seen it in the video. So I opened this back up. I stripped the wire from here, the rubber coating from there all the way to here and put it back together. I just wanted to show you that. And those of you, those of you that are asking if, or you're looking for used chargers because your takes a crap on you, I have lots of used chargers. I normally sell them for like 150 bucks plus shipping. I just sold one to a guy, uh, I think it was in Oregon, came out to 186 bucks shipped, but it's used and it's good. So. I have lots of chargers and every time we do one of these uh, Roy Pal installs we end up with another charger so if you're looking for a used one hit me up. So that's it that's all there is to replacing the um, cord cap on a club car charger so hope that helps it's pretty basic but uh, uh, there was one guy that wanted me to make a video on it so it was very simple and I'm in my garage and I just happened to be working on a charger that needed it so there's a video on that hope you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel text me email me um, and I'll be glad to help you or answer your questions or help sell you parts if I can and uh, I have an eBay store Wayne's Golf Carts and got a lot of charger parts on there I have everything so even though stuff's not on the website or the eBay store you can ask me if you're looking for something and text me or email me and I'll be glad to try to help you Thank you.